what's important for you about the spiritual dimension of your life? I mean, what's really important? How do you know? Is it your spiritual practice or spiritual experiences? Or, or maybe it's different traditions or rituals or ceremonies that are important for you. Maybe somewhere along the way, someone told you that this practice or this thing should be important, and so you've incorporated it in your life, but you're not really sure how you feel about it. When push comes to shove, what really matters for you in the spiritual dimension of your life? Do you know? How do you know? Today, I want to talk about four keys for understanding what's really important about the spiritual dimension of your life so that you can really build on what's important to you, not based on what someone else has said. Because understanding what's important for you is really critical for this aspect of development for yourself. I'll be presenting these keys in terms of questions. And as I explain these questions, questions for you to reflect on and think about, I'll ask you to really take a moment and subscribe to the channel as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos because other videos are going to help you continue to build the spiritual dimension of your life. So as a spiritual director, many people think that they're going to come to me and I'm going to tell them what to do, but it really doesn't work that way. As a spiritual director, I hear many people really sorting through what matters for them in the spiritual dimension of their life. What's important for them in a life transition? What's important in a time of discernment? How do they grow more fully? And, and they're often questioning what they've been doing and whether that's right for them and how they know how to move forward. And in that process, I ask questions and I'm reflective and and I offer ways that I see that may be connecting in what they're saying or things that don't seem to connect. And I ask them to think about it further and make their own decisions and pull it together for themselves because the real answers are the ones that you have. The real answers that are gonna work in your life are already within you. So with that as a reference point, the first question, which is the first key for understanding what's really important in your spiritual life, is when significant things happen in life, things that are difficult, when it feels like the bottom is falling out of life, what gets you through? What helps you along the way? When you're facing challenges, what do you hold on to? What's significant for you? And that can be different for, for various people. I have a friend who, when something difficult's happening, he lights a candle. That's important for him. Other people I know, they seek out particular people to talk to because they want to talk through what's happening. And they know these people will be supportive in that process. Other people want to be alone and they want the experience of solitude so that they can regroup in solitude. What's important for you? Is it doing something? Is it engaging? Is it pulling back? What's significant in getting you through? The second key is in the question, where do you find hope in your life? I understand hope as an attitude or aspect of the way we live that affirms that no matter what else is happening around us, we'll be able to find something good. That even in the darkest night, dawn's gonna come so that there's an outlook that we have that, that we're going to get through. So hope is connected to resilience. It's an energy to help move us forward. Hope leads us on. So where do you find your sources of hope? Are they, are, are they in beliefs? Do, do you, does your hope, is your hope rooted in the practice that you do, your spiritual practice, your prayer? Is it rooted in something else? Maybe a family tradition or a religious tradition? Where do you find hope in life? The third key is to consider where you go and the people in your life who support the spiritual dimension. Perhaps you go to a group, to a yoga group, a meditation group, a 12-step group, and that's helpful for you. 
Perhaps you participate in a religious institution, a religious practice. Maybe that supports your belief system and your spiritual dimension of life. Consider what those things are, where you go, where you find that support, as well as who people are in your life who are supportive. And it's important to ask the opposite question. What about those things are not so supportive to you? Be sure to pay attention both to what you find supportive and, and what isn't really supportive for you. And the fourth is a question people rarely ask and rarely think about until they need it. But I want this to be the fourth key to start considering right now. What's important for you that a provider of health care or mental health care know about you? If you're receiving treatment, whether that's for a health issue or for a mental health problem, what is important for that provider to know about you and your spiritual practice, the spiritual dimension of your life, to help make the treatment successful? Think about it. You know, maybe if you're fasting because it's Ramadan, whoever you're working with, the clinician should know that. Maybe if you're celebrating a holiday or a particular season that's changing things about your day to day, it would be important for the clinician to know that. I recently was receiving health care, was in a hospital for a procedure. And, you know, I should have been clearer about this, but I wasn't. Uh, I was in a room by myself waiting and I had a few hours and every nurse, every attendant, everyone who came into my room kept trying to turn the TV on. They were trying to, they were asking me, do you know how to use the remote control? I'm like, yes, I know how to use the remote control. I don't want the TV on. I want to be able to be quiet. And I want it to be quiet because silence and solitude is really healing for me. So I want it to be peaceful and relaxed as I was going through the procedure I was experiencing. So I wanted to have myself fully ready for what was happening. So TV off, being quiet was really important. For you, it may be something very different, but when you're receiving any kind of treatment, what do you need someone to know? These four keys, these four questions will lead you to understanding more about the spiritual dimension of your life. What's important for you may be very different for another person. That's okay. What's significant is that you understand what's important for you because that's what you're going to build on, what you're going to grow on, and what it's going to help you to further really integrate the spiritual dimension of your life with the other dimensions of your life. And yes, indeed, spiritual directors can be very helpful in this process. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with others, leave me comments and questions. I love to hear from you and know that I appreciate the time you spend on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Have a really great day.